Mission Specialist Mike Anderson is the payload commander on this flight, which means he's responsible for managing the entire complement of experiments. Anderson, a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force, is making his second space flight. He previously flew on the STS-89 mission to the space station Mir in 1998. It was certainly a privilege to have had an opportunity to have gone to the Mir space station. You know, I think history will prove Mir to have been just really a huge stepping stone for man's permanent presence in space. And it really fostered a cooperation between uh, the American space program and the Russian space program. I think a cooperation that's really going to be the key to future space exploration. The Plattsburgh, New York native grew up in an Air Force family, so he's lived on several Air Force bases. However, he considers Spokane, Washington to be his hometown. Anderson says he's been interested in flying and science for as long as he can remember. When he enrolled at the University of Washington, he decided to major in physics because it was applicable to all areas of science. He also joined the Air Force ROTC. After graduation, Anderson accepted a commission as a second lieutenant in the Air Force as a communication electronics officer. So I had a chance to learn a little bit about electronics and apply some of my knowledge of physics to uh, you know, improve the uh, communication systems in the Air Force and uh, working on computers and things like that. But uh, my real interest was flying airplanes. So after four years of doing that, I put in my application for flight school and got selected for flight school, and, and off I went. After flight school, Anderson was assigned to Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska as an EC-135 pilot. He then became an aircraft commander and flight instructor at Wordsmith Air Force Base in Michigan. After receiving his master's degree in physics from Creighton University, Anderson applied to NASA and was selected in 1994. He says this mission will always be special to him. So we've all worked very closely together to try to, to make this a successful flight. It's been a lot of fun. I think when I look back on this flight years from now, the one thing that I really remember and appreciate is the friendships that I've made with my crewmates.